Hey everybody, this is your Right Geek, Honorary Man King, and leader of the Awkward Cos Squad, here for an Insomniacs video. I'm sorry for the lateness of this traditional Monday video, uh, because, yeah, technically it's Tuesday in my location, um, but we'll call this the Monday video because on the West Coast, it's still Monday. <coughs> um, I gave myself a little too much to do today, I think, but... Uh, I'm trying to take, I'm trying to take a Hillsdale College course, uh, online, <coughs> and also trying to get some books read, trying to get some comic books read so I can do some comic book reviews later this week. Uh, so I kind of ran out of time. So now it's almost 2 a.m. where I am, and what am I gonna do a video about? Well, um, I noticed today in one of my Facebook groups that somebody brought up the uh, the Scar Stargate SG-1 two-parter uh, entitled Heroes. This was the, uh, the two-parter that aired towards the end of Season 7 in which... Spoiler, 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 spoiler... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... The medic dies. <coughs> and... Um, and I said, oh, well, that's something that I can talk about really quick, because that actually turns out to be, uh, my favorite set of episodes from SG-1, and, uh, and hey, I've never talked about SG-1 before on this channel, so why not? Um, <coughs> SG-1 was not, I wouldn't call it my favorite sci-fi show of the 90s, I think that was a two-way tie between Babylon 5 and Star Trek Deep Space Nine, but it was a show that I enjoyed immensely. I think that it had a lot of, um, it had a good sense of fun to it, um, and, uh, and also a lot of heart and, uh, and genuine feeling to it as well. <coughs> and Heroes was, one of those stories that actually demonstrated the real heart of the show. Um, and there is one scene in particular in that set of episodes that every time I talk about this particular scene to other people, I always end up <coughs> tearing up a little bit because it just mysteriously has this huge impact on me. And uh, basically... Uh, during this episode, there is a journalist who is there, and he is attempting to document what the SG teams are doing off-planet to um, with the Stargates, uh, and what they're doing off-planet to basically safeguard Earth and safeguard the other civilizations that happen to be out there in the Stargate network. And um, he discovers after the medic dies that uh, the team archaeologists in SG-1 has, um, might have footage of what exactly happened on that mission in which the medic dies. And so he goes to this character, Daniel, and he tries to get access to that footage. And Daniel, of course, is naturally resistant to doing that because, uh, that, that's my friend who just died out there. Why do you want that? You're like some weird sensationalist journalist that wants access to something that I'm actually very, really upset about. Um, and in that scene, the journalist talks about uh, a war photographer who was embedded with troops in Vietnam. <coughs> and he talks about how the day before that war photographer was uh, getting ready to leave, um, they're out basically on patrol, and suddenly he gets pushed down by one of the lieutenants, and when he gets pushed down, he accidentally takes a picture with his camera just as that lieutenant gets his head blown off. And, and he says that, and for many, many years, <coughs> um, the photographer naturally... Um, you know, put that photo aside and said, you know, I don't want to look at that. That's horrific. Um, but then he says, but then years later, he looked at that photograph 
again. And he realized that uh, he had that what he saw was not something that was horrific. He realized, and this is the way the line goes, he realized that he hadn't taken a picture of a man dying, but of a man saving his life. And that line right there, and you, and you can hear right now how emotional I get, that, that right there just captures, for me, I think, the heroism of the people who serve in our armed forces. I think that's what really gets to me as someone who is a daughter of, um, you know, of someone who served. <coughs> um, the, the sacrifices that people in the armed forces are willing to make to protect others, to protect civilians that are in harm's way, um, that scene, more than anything else I have ever seen on television, captures that with, with such beautiful simplicity. It is by far the very best scene that SG-1 ever did. Um, so, uh, let me know. Did you, did you watch SG-1? Did you watch this two-parter? And did you have the same emotional reaction to this particular scene? If you did, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll speak to you again on Thursday. Coughing <coughs>